Hello everyone. Welcome to this week's Book Nook program for our elementary and tween age children. My name is Miss Amy and I work at the Hampton Park Library. We're so glad that you could join us today. Now, I don't know about you, but I love the ocean. I love everything about it. The beach, the waves, the fish. So because of that, I thought that I would talk about ocean books today. And the Forsyth County Public Library has so many wonderful books and ebooks to choose from. It was hard to pick just a few to discuss with you. Now, the first one I wanted to mention, you have to talk about it if you're going to talk about ocean books. It's such a classic. It's Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Now, in this book, Professor Arnax and his two companions are trapped aboard a fantastic submarine. They're prisoners of the deranged Captain Nemo. They come face to face with exotic ocean creatures and strange sights that are hidden from the world above. If you like adventure, this is an awesome book for you. The next book that I wanted to talk to you about is called Magnus Finn and the Ocean Quest, and it's by Janice McKay. On his 11th birthday, Magnus throws a message in a bottle out to sea. He's hoping for a best friend and to be a little more brave, but he gets a lot more than he bargained for. If you like excitement and adventure, again, another awesome read for you. We also have some great nonfiction titles as well. And those, as you know, are books that are true. One of my favorites is Seymour Simon's Extreme Oceans. Now imagine yourself exploring the most extreme parts of our amazing oceans, riding the tallest waves, diving down to the deepest, darkest depths of the ocean, Encountering the largest and most dangerous sea creatures in the world. Now, that almost sounds like a fantasy story made up, but it's not. You'll be reading about real animals and parts of the sea in this book. So you have a chance to explore the features and creatures of our amazing oceans. Now, if you like the titles that I suggested, or just the topic of oceans in general, you are in luck. We have these not only in our traditional book formats, we also have them as ebooks as well. So you can access our library's website from home, check them out and download them onto your Kindle or your iPad or even your computer. So just because we're closed and you're stuck at home does not mean that you have to stop reading. We have lots of options available for you. Now, if you enjoyed learning about and talking about the oceans, we have two fun activities for you to do to extend this at home. And the first is a really simple one. It's just color. I confess, I love to color. <laughs> I love to take my colored pencils and my paper and go outside in the sunshine and just color. It is so peaceful and relaxing and stress-free. Um, I really enjoy it. So you can color something simple, just like a fish. I made mine with my pretty blue and purple. You can get a little more fancy or creative and do some more unusual sea creatures like these jellyfish I did here. You could do seahorses, you could do sharks. Or, since we tend to have so much time on our hands now, you could create an entire sea scene with fish, seagrass, coral, whatever you like. So we challenge you guys to create your own seascapes at home and please share them with us when you are done. You can post them on our Facebook or our Instagram pages, or you can tag us at Forsyth PL for Facebook and Forsyth Public Library for our Instagram page. Please do remember though to be safe. Do not post your face or your last name. We just wanna see the incredible artwork that you guys come up with. Yay. Now, did you know that you can learn more about oceans and the animals that live in them from the comfort of your own home? Many aquariums across the country have websites and those websites feature activities, games, and best of all, live webcams. These webcams capture the animals in their habitats, swimming, eating, so you can see what they're doing from your home, from your laptop, from your computer. They're really cool. Our Georgia Aquarium has a great website with a wonderful webcam. 
Another favorite of mine is the Monterey Bay Aquarium. They have the most adorable otter webcam. I love otters, they're some of my favorite animals, and they're really fun to watch. So I'm gonna show you little clips of those coming down next. All right, now this is a live webcam of the Georgia Aquarium, the Ocean Voyager exhibit. <gasps> oh, is that a whale shark? Look how big it is. Wow. And this is available on the aquarium website, and I'll post a link to that at the end of this video. But this is a great way, while the aquarium is closed, you can still watch and observe all of the fish without any of the crowds. Isn't that cool? Oh, wow. Now this is at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. They have a live otter cam. While they are closed, so we can all see the otters and how cute they are. This is actually their feeding time. Look how cute they are. Well, we hope you enjoyed this week's Book Nook program all about oceans. Thank you so much for joining us. We are looking forward to seeing you guys in person soon. But in the meantime, thanks again for joining us on our online virtual programming. Have a great day.